Welcome to Seashore Vlog and we are staying at the Avalon Hotel in St. Petersburg. We are, which is behind us. We checked in yesterday, so here's a look around the hotel. It's only small, this one. And our room, and we are staying in a suite because we did get upgraded, but we'll talk about that as we show you around. We're now heading in for breakfast, so we'll come back to that after the room tour. checked in to the lobby just there you get as we found out uh, free wine between 5 and 7 p.m uh, i think there's some other alcoholic drinks as well but it's free from the from the lobby the lobby closes that lobby closes at 11 p.m so you have to go and use the hollander hotel which is 24 hours but that's fine we shouldn't be needing it all the water all the water bottles that you could want and ice is in there as well so if you do need to go in when the lobby area is closed you just use your card and and tap that but we're in the suites building which is next door you can park on the street if you if you need to drive here the car park is on the other side of that building uh, but we got upgraded to a suite and we're in suite 101 so let's go and check out the room so this is room 101 and we come straight in to a reception area don't we pet we do we do to the right of the door is the controls for the air conditioning and the light switches but this is a nice little space to chill out with a table and two chairs having some ice water that's free and a nice little sofa air con table chair just the drawers and tv and then as we swing to the right i don't know why it's called the berg anyway you've got a little kitchen area so we've got a big fridge and freezer lots of cupboards a microwave sink, hob, I'm not going to use any of these, coffee machine and bits and pieces that you would need. And then through here is the bedroom with the biggest bed I've ever seen. Five pillows, huge. Bedside tables on either side with an alarm clock and two funky lamps, plus a TV in here as well. There is one socket on the wall, let's see if there's any beside the bed. No, and there's none in the lamp, lamp switch either. Lights, lamp, base either. Let's check on this side. No, no, no sockets or anything there. There is one here above the bed. That's in a really awkward position. But anyway, we'll tell you in the morning how good that bed is to sleep on for us. And then we've got the bathroom. So we've got hairdryer hanging up, toilet, couple of grab rails so they have tried to make it accessible a little bit we, we did ask for an accessible room I've tried to make it accessible but you can't really get a wheelchair through this gap and also you can't roll a wheelchair into the shower from that step and there's nowhere to sit in the actual shower itself but there is a little bench here with towels grab bar shower controls sink and there's the toiletries so first impressions of the, the suite are, are pretty good. We'll see how comfy the bed is, we'll see how good the shower is, and we'll leave a little review in the morning. I wish we were here a little bit longer because the pool area looks fantastic. We enjoyed having a drink there a little bit before, and it was reasonably priced. They have DJs on on the weekend as well. And parking is free. One thing to note though, our other friends were also staying here, they don't supply cribs. So if, that's, if you have a, a small child that needs one, they don't have them here, so don't book this hotel, book somewhere else. But we're gonna head out now. But you, if you go and check out the main vlog for that, you'll be able to see what we get up to. Uh, we'll be back in the morning with our review of this hotel and our night's sleep. So you can get breakfast in the Hollander Hotel, which is meant to be decent, and it's in the tap room, or you can go to their coffee shop beside it, which has pastries. Um, we're gonna have a take a look at both and then decide what we're gonna do. And the ramp to get up. Yeah, there's a ramp to get up here. Park.
come into the tap room, which is just off the lobby of the Hollander Hotel, and they have deals every day for drinks, but we're here for breakfast. Looks nice, and the coffee shop is just next door. I've ordered an HH2O, um, which is a tequila Bloody Mary, which it's not often you get them in places, so I thought oh, I may as well try it. I've got a coffee, which I think is the local coffee, and I went for a bagel with some... Um, Where's potatoes? Breakfast potatoes Breakfast on your potatoes, bagel. yeah. My brain just went there. Um, Sean's gone for a tea and biscuits and gravy with an egg on top. I was going to go for a croissant, but I decided differently. This is the tea. What tea is it? Which comes in a bag like <laughs> this. Organic okay, no, breakfast. Interesting. Black tea. There you go. Your breakfast, breakfast potatoes, potatoes look, look really good. This is what you were wanting the other day. My, my uh, bagel looks fab. It's warm and I've got some cream cheese. I won't have that. But I want some hot sauce for my um, uh, potatoes. And I've got an egg over medium. Biscuits and gravy. It looks like you've been under a heat lamp with a little bit. I bet you it tastes good. I'll tell you in a sec. <laughs> Stolen from the Caroline's potatoes. <laughs> salty. Very salty. And you went for the least salty bit. Yeah, let's mix this gravy up a bit. Biscuits and gravy. The biscuits are really soft. That is super peppery. And I'm not a pep big pepper fan. That is super, super peppery. Once the pepper's dying down, the other flavours are coming up. It's really peppery. Yeah. Well, I've just had the breakfast of champions. I've just had a nice everything bagel with some nice um, cream cheese, corn fries, breakfast fries, a nice cup of coffee. And now I'm having an HH2O Bloody Mary, which is made with all local fresh stuff. It's nice. Refreshing. We have got the bill. I also went to the bakery, which has lots of good choices of cakes and things. And I went for basically a cherry bake roll, but with shortbread instead of cake. This should be good. The breakfast was pretty decent. Uh, my, mine was a little bit too peppery for my liking, but once I got through that and added some hot sauce, it, it made all the difference. And I picked up a cake from the, the bakery, although the choice was. It was limited. difficult. It was limited. No, it was difficult to was, make oh, a choice. Too, well, I thought, no, I thought you cakes. mean the choice was limited, the way you said it was difficult. No, difficult because uh, I, I would I probably, if I, I mean, I'm, not, a muffin. I'm not a cake person, but I probably would have went for the apple cinnamon. Yeah. yeah. Well, here's our review of the Avalon Hotel, and I guess the Hollander as well, because they're kind of together. Yeah. Uh, you can use a lot of the facilities, you can use all of the facilities in the Hollander when you're staying at the Avalon, so the pool, the bar, the restaurant, the coffee shop, they're all available. Free coffee? To everyone who says, yeah. Caroline's got a free coffee from our lobby. There's also cookies in the morning as yeah, well. You get, you, get, you get free wine, uh, free water, free orange water. Yeah. Um, that's, the, that's the freebies that you get. Yeah. So we booked, if I remember rightly, we booked two disabled rooms, accessible rooms. We booked two rooms on hotels.com. We didn't book direct with the hotel. Sent the hotel a message to ask for accessible rooms, wheelchair accessible rooms, and they came back and said yes. Turns out they've only got one, which is this one, and as I showed you in the room tour, like they've tried, but they haven't really thought about it because it's not accessible, really. A couple of grab bars does not make it accessible. We, we tried using the shower this morning for Caroline, and the shower, the handheld shower part just doesn't reach where you sit either, so like the big seat that they've got, it, yeah, so it's it's... However, the water in the shower uh, was, was hot and was good. The water pressure in the sink, less so. Um, this room is a little bit bigger than the other suites because our friends are staying in. They didn't get the, access, ex, the second accessible room when we got here because there, there isn't one. There's only one. Not that it matters because it's not really accessible, but we've had a look in there. Their bathroom is a lot smaller, so there is a definite difference in the bathroom they just haven't thought it through properly for, for getting wheelchairs in there or anybody who, need, anybody who just needs to sit down and have a shower, they, they just haven't thought that through properly. I don't know how you would get a wheelchair in there to get on, onto the toilet. It would be very hard. It would be very hard. You, you can't go through the gap. Um, that, those things aside, 
I, I think the hotel is there really is good value for money. There is grab rails, did you mention that? Yeah. Did, yeah. There's grab rails as well. That, so that's a, that was a good thing. I would say the hotel, I, I would stay here again. It, it was good value for money. I think we paid £110 through Hotels.com. And we got the suite room. The bed was the bed itself was pretty comfortable. The pillows were really comfortable. I didn't have a good night's sleep, but that's not the hotel's fault. That's just I don't have a good night's sleep in the hotel for the first night. There was a lot of pillows. I did not have a good night's sleep. I clock watched probably. I kept thinking it was hours gone by, and I looked at the clock, and it was only like forty-five minutes. I think that's partly because we're both not feeling well as well, though. So. Yeah, we're both not feeling very well. But I actually find it's a quite hard bed. I don't like firm beds. The pillows were lovely and soft, though, and I love a good soft pillow. Yeah, uh, the room was dark but not particularly dark and it got light in the morning but I think that's a standard thing in Florida these days um, and the aircon was lovely for me it you, was if you've got rain you like things warmer so if but, you've got rain it was absolutely freezing and I, I, had, I was literally like curled up in a ball because I was so cold um, but that I thought it was spot on with that's the fan because I've got air, that's because I've, I'm a light sleeper so I don't like noise and I don't like cold because I've got rain so everything that is cold is super cold to me yeah. and it hurts so yeah, I was I was in a fetal position for quite a lot of the time. So I've said I, I would stay here again. It, it's good value for money. All the little perks are, are really good that you get. The pool area in, in the Hollander, I'd love to spend some time around that pool. That that they've really thought that yeah. one out. That that looks good. And the location is it's pretty central in Saint Petersburg. It's it's not far to go anywhere for anything. Would you stay here again? Yeah, um, my only issues with it is the cold. It is cold. But having said that, they've got a lot of fans in here they've got a higher air conditioning unit they've got another air conditioning unit down here they actually, they actually pardon did I burp there? Mm-hmm. sorry I didn't I couldn't even hear it I'm so blocked up um, and they've got uh, it, the room's actually called the Berg so does that tell you something? the ice, iceberg no the Berg <laughs> stands for St Petersburg I was trying to make a joke <laughs> um, so yeah it's got everything you need I mean some decent air conditioning my only problem was the cold there's a lot of flies I found a lot of flies and I had to get rid of them last night. Mosquito, there was a couple of mosquitoes, some flies. Um, Nothing you can do about that. And there was a fly in the fridge. But you can't help that if you open a fridge and a fr- the fry gets stuck in. The fly got hot, you know, it's humid down there. <laughs> you wanted to chill out. That, it, there is a little bit of like dirt and stuff, but that's a women, a, but women notice that more than men, I think, in my opinion. Oh, it, it's not like the cleanest place, but it's still, it's pretty clean. It's pretty clean. Yeah. Just the odd little thing. I think it could be so much more if they just paid a little bit more attention. It, I think yeah, it's, I mean, it's got huge it's, potential. It's 120 years old or something yeah. like that, this this hotel. So it's been around a while. They've done well to like modernise it. Yeah, the restaurant, the tap room, is um, Look, the, the holiday well, restaurant. Was great. Look, the, I reckon the dinner would be good as well. I actually looked it up this morning to check and to see where the best places to have breakfast were. And actually, it was one of the places listed. And there was business people where we went in um, and just normal, everyday, walk of life people. Um, and the food was was decent. They have special offers on each day. So yesterday was seven dollar uh, martinis all day. Is that six, right? six dollar martinis. So six dollar. And today, like today is half price beer because it's a tap room. Every day is a different. We deal. surmise there's other things on as well, and that'll be different every day. Yeah. So you've got that. So there is there is things, and they, the 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 coffee is the local brewed coffee. I can't mm-hmm. remember the name of it, so I apologise. Anything else you want to add? No. That's our review of the Avalon Hotel and I guess the Hollander as well. Oh, we have a little kitchen. Yeah. So you could make food. You could. Hope you've enjoyed this little look around. Keep making memories. Catch you later.